Any views, thoughts, and opinions expressed by the journalists and guests are solely that of the journalists and guests and do not reflect the views, opinion, policies, or positions of Positive Lifestyle Management, LLC. <music>
Soji. Soji. That's how it's pronounced. Soji. Okay. So, being the executive director of Soji, what do Soji mean? Solutions for the girl child initiatives. Uh, so we're, we're basically um, the, dedicated to helping the girl child. You know, so so much is gone. You know. I've, I've been told since I've been here that I'm being biased and I'm not trying to help the, the male child, but which is not true. I know everybody needs help, but it's such a um, a negative thing that's happening to the girls here in this in this country. Um, so that's why we're um, trying to empower them and give them the knowledge because knowledge is power. True. You know, so they true. can educate themselves and they, you know because the girls here tend to get married at 13 years old. Wow, at thirteen? Yeah, thirteen. Okay, okay. So, uh, and even younger. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! So over here in this country, that would be uh, make you a, a child molester, right? So I, I understand. I understand that you're doing a great service, sister, and just talk about all the things because you have your hands. You wear a lot of hats, sister. You wear a lot of hats. You're the executive director of Soji. You have your own small business trucking company. You, you know, you do a uh, visionary initiative. You're a sister of the struggle. You take care of the brothers. You, you, you are like a mom, a big sister, and everything to us. You and the other sisters, Sister Chi, Gigi, and uh, Lonnie, y'all just, man, talk about you. Let the world know who you are. Well, you know, for one, um, I get enjoyment out of doing the things that I do, right? If, I, if I'm not doing something, I'm not happy. I, I, I get in a, like a depressed mode, so I like staying busy, you know, and in anything that I do uh, concerning the organization, I do it out of love. You know, it's all out of love and service because this is what, this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're not supposed yes. to be, it's not about going to the club and, and this and that, we're here to be servants of God, right? So I'm here to do Mr. Uh, Larry Hoover's work, you know, what he would like us to do, you know. Uh, that's all I know that I can do, you know, is do the service, you know. And once I do the service, my blessings come. My blessings come all the time. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's, it's great that you are doing that work because there, there, there are a lot of sisters out there that's doing the work. And a lot of times, and it has been mentioned to me that the sisters are sometimes overlooked, like the work that they are doing is not important to the struggle. But I believe this here. I always try to give the sisters their flowers. I always acknowledge the sisters because it's without you women we wouldn't be where we at today it's because of you all you yeah. all were ahead of us and so when the new concept came out the sisters was already ahead of us so the new concept came out to get us together the men so how do you feel that the women are, are sometimes overlooked for me, right, I'm going to give you my experience with it, right? Because um, sometimes, you know, I get so irritated with the guys, you know, um, because, of course, this is a male-driven organization that we are part of, right? And so we have to find our way as women, you know, amongst you guys. We have to find our way. You know, I've been told so many uh, negative things that we here to bow and please. And I don't even understand what that's supposed to mean, you know, that we here to bow and please, you know. Uh, uh, or, or, or we have a problem, right? And we need the brothers to help step in. The brothers will say, well, that's sister's business, this and that. But brothers, like, it's us standing in them lines at the county jails, at the state prisons, the federal prisons trying to see you guys. It's us who, if you need the, uh, somebody to get you in some way that y'all call an ex, you know. That's right. It's us who who, who doing the cooking for these meetings and these functions. It's, it's us. You know, and to, to overlook us is, is a hurtful thing or to make us feel like that we don't have a voice, you know, or, oh, the, you, you, you're in the brother's business. Not necessarily, brother, the same laws and policy that govern you govern us, too. It ain't a, it's not a separate uh, 
paperwork. It's the same thing. So you let know? me say this here. And I want to say this here on, on behalf of all righteous brothers. We truly acknowledge all the sisters and that you are our equal. You are not beneath us. You are my sister. So I know there you have strengths that I am weak in. I am areas that you are strong in that I'm weak in and it's vice versa. Mm -hmm. And we have to acknowledge that. And on behalf of everybody, you are being acknowledged. The sisters are being acknowledged. You're going to continue to be acknowledged. I'm going to do everything in my limited power to bring spotlight to all the wonderful and great things that our sisters are doing. 